Okay, welcome back. If you are still joining me, my let's play of Final Fantasy XIV on the PC. Last time we joined the Grand Company of the Maelstrom, and we got a Chocobo as our own personal mount. Very, very nice. Um, but now we're going to step away from the main quest for a moment, because... I hit level 30. I did this dungeon, Halatali, and uh, it was very quick. It was like 15 minutes. Gave me a shit ton of XP, got me up to 30, and gave me some gear, including like a new book, Doctor's Grimoire, which is pretty good. And uh, yeah, so that was, that was good. That was all good. So since we are level 30, we can progress to a job. Right now we have a class, but what we really want is a job. That's that's sort of the advanced class um, where things start to get interesting. So you need to be level 30 and you need to have completed all of your class quests. And if you recall, we actually neglected doing our level 25 class quest because I was preoccupied. So we're going to have to do two Arcanist class quests in a row, and then we can do the summoner class quest or the job quest. So let's dive into it. Have you come to ask about Kilia's condition? The four seers unchanged. She walks about as if all the joy in life has been leached from her soul. I believe the only one who can help her now is the same person who broke Kilia out of her shell the first time, our absent guilds master. And though I am leery of the coincidence, the man himself has at long last been spotted. Should you seek out his last known location, it is unlikely he will still be there, and even should you catch him, he may not deign to speak with you. Nevertheless, this may be our only chance. Pray travel to Memorun's trading post in Upper Lanasia and speak with anyone who might have seen the Guildmaster. Oh, and one more thing. Though he prefers us not to use it for some inexplicable reason, our leader's name is Kiritia. All right, so this is in Upper Lanasia. Uh, there's a ferry dock there, but it's okay. Uh, so we need to go from Aleport up, and luckily we have uh, a chocobo. Uh, yeah, that dungeon was very simple. There were there were a couple mechanics uh, to the bosses. It, it was mostly just tank and spank, though, because it was either like the boss becomes invulnerable while you deal with some other shit, or there was there was one mechanic with the final boss where all these like flame motes came in. And eventually, if you didn't kill them, they exploded and hurt everyone. But the healer just healed everyone through it. <laughs> so it was mostly just tank and spank. But there's, you know, there's inklings. We're, we're getting somewhere. No, no time for triple triad. We're busy. Uh, who am I speaking? Oh, I'm speaking to the triple triad guy. Oh, speak with a local. No, oh, I'm speaking to the witness. Witness me. Morning, sir. Aye, I was the one who sent word to your guild about spotting your leader. It's a rare, right, right rare sight to see Kiratia roaming about. He asked me the way to Tha Thalos. Thalos. Could be he was speaking, seeking to speak with the scholar who lives out there. Now I need to speak with the seeker. Speak with the scholar Thaulos.
Why did I assume he would be up top rather than in the house? Oh boy. Tonga Tonga. Hello there. Yeah, yes, I did receive a visit from a gentleman identifying himself as the Arcanist Guildmaster. An odd fellow, but obviously possessed of a well-rounded education. As it so happens, he bid me pass on a message to anyone who came searching for him. Ahem. Reunited, the three slips of parchment hold the problem to the solution. The Guildmaster mentioned that the slips of parchment are concealed among the bones of Thalos. Thalos. I suppose you're expected to search for them. I suppose I am. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. You have no dieable items. Damn, I want to die my shit. I got that sweet red dye and stuff. Can't die anything. the music. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Play nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Dude, I look like an idiot. Maybe got to do like some platforming here. Come on now. Okay. Okay. Come on. Why does this feel like you're not meant to climb back up? I mean, it looks like you could. I mean, in real life, you could climb up these bones. Wow, what the fuck? Maybe the mount is fucking me up. No, I mean, there's just some clear problems with these bones. Look, there's just, there's just problems. But how am I supposed to get down? Maybe you're supposed to just go this way? Can't really see. No, no. I don't think so. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let me just check. Play music when mounted. Done. <laughs> I'm already sick of it. Um, oh, that kobold Pikmin I have to kill, apparently. If I must, I must. Might as well kill the three Pikmin. I'm all about killing Pikmin.
done. Oh, that was like a... What the fuck was that? Oh, that was a maelstrom hunting log. Oh, that's... Yeah, when I went in that dungeon, there were some monsters that had hunting log things. I didn't even realize it was for the maelstrom hunting log. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Just so many things to do. Have you tracked down those three slips of parchment? Yep. Interesting. They actually exist. To be perfectly honest, I thought you had been sent on a wild dodo chase. Let's have a look at these, shall we? Well, well. Penned in ancient Alaga, no less. Fortunately for you, I have a passing familiarity with the script. Seek the box at Fool Falls. Dance a jig for your wooden audience. Claim the secret from the open heart. A most cryptic set of instructions, I must say. Do you intend to follow them? This guildmaster of yours certainly enjoys his games. Dance before the old wooden box at Fool Falls. Well, that... We cracked the code. Ooh. I'm t during the day, the game looks decent. That's that's all I can say. The box rattles and thumps about, as if something within seeks to be freed. It appears the lid has been loosened somewhat. Oh no, that's not nice. Oh, and then we got this shit. This ain't good, man. This ain't good, man. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Oh fuck. Oh, fuck. I gotta get the other summon out. I gotta use a potion. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm... Oh, I've been paralyzed. Oh, my God. I'm actually gonna die. Get that shield on me, man. Is that even enough? Get him, get him, sick him. Use a potion. Okay, kill this thing. There we go. Good. All right, I think we, I think we got this. That was intense, man. Find a slip of parchment inside the box. If there are answers you would seek, then to the trading post now go. Before the owner be not meek, with your two feet provide a show. Dance for memory. Of course, that's exactly what we'll do. Yeah, that... That chocobo music. I mean... It's a nice little remix, but... I, I ain't about that. I ain't a, Oh, I found another one of those hunt things. Funny Mikote dance, funny dance. You dance funny dance too? 
Yes, dance, funny dance. Oh my god, look at that mount. Ah, uh, now that was most entertaining. I must have something to amuse me during these little jaunts back to civilization, you understand. Based on my evaluation of your abilities, however, I calculated that you would arrive at this point somewhat earlier. You balked at the dancing, didn't you? I never expected you to be so shy. Another variable to add to your list of characteristics. I keep extensive metal, mental notes of all the guild's members, you see. As an arcanist, it was a simple matter to engineer events so that I might meet you face to face. After all, strategy is a tool used to manipulate one's situation into the desired reality. And I do so enjoy seeing others dance in the palm of my hand, as it were. Here, you may have this. Think of it as a... Think of it as payment for your performance. That's a big-ass book, dude. I'm just a little guy. Though you might consider passing the tome on to Kilia. That is the reason you sought me out, was it not? Before you gave Kilia the grimoire, however, I must insist that you dance for her. I will know if you don't. Uh, all this banal interaction has simply exhausted me. It is time I return to my studies. You, on the other hand, should travel forthwith to the Anchor Yard in Limsa Liminsa. Be well, Mang. We shall meet again. I'm 100% certain of it. Look at this fucking mount, dude! Like some cat with no legs and it probably bounces around it's amazing i wish they you know in wow they would they tell you the name of the mount when you hover over man that's sweet i want i want it all all right let's head back to lim Salominsa. still got plenty of quests to do can't get distracted by fat cat mounts Alrighty, we're going to here, so the aft castle, I guess. Dance. Were you always one for dancing? I don't recall any such pref... Ah. You have met with our guildmaster, haven't you? Yes. That would explain your odd behavior. He does so enjoy seeing people perform unexpected acts of frivolity. But what could have spurred our reticent guildmaster to speak with you in person? How about this shit? Gave you this grimoire to give to me. Uncanny. It is identical to the tome I received the first time I ever met our leader. You have my thanks, Mang. The killed master is fond of games and mischief, and I understand the troublesome trials he likely put you through before deeming you worthy of his attention. With this gift, however, he his message to me is abundantly clear. I am to shape reality into the one I desire. And that means defeating Dosmaga. Gods, my mind is alive again with strategies. I must have time to think. Pray inform Mistress Thurbergeem of my return to duty. Alrighty.
Um... Sure, I don't know if it really matters. They need more Ethernet. They need an Ethernet thing every 10 feet. The people demand it. Since you don't let us mount in the city. Lame. Wind up Odin. My god, they just have everything, don't they? Kili has recovered from her despondency. This is wonderful news, and we have you to thank for it. It is unfortunate, however, that both Kili and our guildmaster are possessed of such impenetrable personalities. But at least in the case of the Forsier, we have an inkling as to the nature of the cage that imprisons her. I continue to hope that her partnership with you shall gradually pry those bars apart. Return to your training, Mang, and prepare yourself for the demanding tactics Killy is sure to formulate in the days ahead. Alrighty. We get a book, but it's not an upgrade. The boots are upgrades, and the head is upgrade. Spectacles. Mm, I kind of like my hat, though, so we'll go with that. There you go. Alright. All that's left is the robe. For brand new, and then we're we've moved on. All right, last Arcanist quest. I've been expecting you, Mang. As ever, Kilia's predictions prove accurate almost down to the moment, and her mind is especially sharp with such a dangerous confrontation in the offing. The Yellow Jackets have contacted us with word of Desmaga. It appears his merchant vessel is presently anchored off the coast of Bloodshore. Once the pirate's business there is concluded. Rumor has it that he intends to embark on an extended voyage to the east. It will be some time before he returns once more to Limsa Luminsa. If we pass up this opportunity, Killian will lose her chance to settle the score with Dosmaga, and we risk the force here stumbling once more into blackest melancholy. Simply getting close enough to Dosmaga will prove difficult. Killia has, however, already formulated a solution, and has set her grand strategy into motion. Your first task in this undertaking is to travel to Costa del Sol and deliver this set of directions to a fisherman by the name of Rilzern. More instructions will be forthcoming. Oh, we get to go to Costa del Sol! Uh, which is in eastern Lanasia. So we've got a bit of a journey, it seems. Although, doesn't the ferry here let you just go straight there? Maybe I imagined that. Costa del Sol. 40 bucks. Mm, good thing I remembered that. God damn. We'd be trekking across the country. Oh, ho, ho, now this place. This is nice. Oh, yeah. So obviously it's not the same location as Final Fantasy 7. Uh, but it's still sort of a resort village. Just a tune there. Alrighty. Nice little pleasant music. Warm sand. Nice blue sea. Giant murderous tentacle monsters. I mean, what more do you want? What is it you want, lad? As you can see, I've ha I've me hands full with me fishing. Ah, thanks for that. I've been told to expect you. Here, you're to take one of me errands and deliver it to the cook, Opolona. 
Earrings? Oh, herring. All right. Yes, and how might I help you? Master Gegaruju is expecting his supper any moment now. Here. A fresh herring. Why, the master does enjoy a bit of broiled fish of an, on a, of an evening. This might even earn me a few extra coins for this week's wages. Well, you have earned yourself one of my homemade eel pies. I should tell you, though, your arcanist colleague was quite insistent that you take the pie to Master Gegaruju rather than scoff it down yourself. All right. Still just running around doing bullshit. Probably when you're level 76, you're still running around doing bullshit. And what brings you to my, and I use the term facetiously, humble abode, dear sir? Hmm, such a heavenly aroma. Are you perchance carrying an eel pie about your person? How commendable that you should research the delicacies that tickle my fancy before daring to intrude upon my most ponderous of ponderings. Speaking of ponderous, well, I was speaking of it at least, I have a hefty purse of gill to persuade you to relinquish your claim on that pastry. All right. One moment, if you will. I have been instructed by Emil Von's gate assessor to hand over this message to whoever delivers an eel pie to Master Gegaruju. Alright, this is all pretty complicated. Take the purse you received from Master Gegaruju and hand it to the dancer Eeldgith as she prepares to return home. Eeldgith? I'm worried that my next robe is going to look really shitty compared to this one. Yes, if you're looking for a dancer, then I would first see your coin. I have three children to feed and no time to waste on idle chat. All right, I got plenty of coin for you. Oh my, that is quite a purse. My precious darlings will eat like kings this week. And such a simple job as well. I was told to expect you, you see. In return for the coin, I am to give you these. The leather satchels from your Mikote friend. And the pario is from me. That last item you are to deliver to Drogo, the warehouse foreman. Oh my god. The warehouse foreman, yes. Thank god we've got a mount, eh? I ain't got time for the likes of you. If I don't get me work squared away soon, the master will have me out on a pike. Hmm, you got something for me to say? I sure do. Hey, now, ain't this Yield Gith's Perio? That Makote lass had something to be bringing me a gift what I couldn't refuse and stick me with a pitchfork if she weren't telling the God's own truth. Here, you're supposed to have this bottle of wine. Take it to the flying shark and pour a cup for the sailors who are drinking there. That's what she told me to tell you, any road. I'd watch me back if I was you, though, son. Them sailors are the meanest bunch of cutthroats I ever did see. Damn, dude, she really just fucking orchestrated this thing. Want me to taste your wine, eh? Well, now I ain't one to pass up free grog. Them Lane's teats. Now that's a bloody fine drop. If we ship this stuff to the east, we'll be selling bottles by the crate. You're coming with us back to the Morning Star. The captain will want to have a word with you. Uh, alright. Well, this is to infiltrate Dosmaga, I guess. There's a good lad. 
And as for you, Miss Dancer, you stick close to old Hurskrat. It gets damn cold on them long sea voyages. <laughs> nice. We'll talk later. Maybe don't whisper that right in their faces. That's a little weird. Uh, oh shit. All the way over there, god damn. Yeah, I mean, it's it's involved, but it's the last Arcanist quest, so can't complain too much. They got to wrap up this little storyline. You ready then? I'll be off as soon as the boat's loaded. I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, fine grog and a fine woman. The captain will be pleased with this haul. Pray do not stare so. This was the most expedient method of most expedient method of gaining access to the ship. I will take that satchel from you now. You may have it back after I take the items I need. What am I going to do with the satchel? Yeah, what mischief are you two about? I was merely borrowing some clothes. You wouldn't wish me to catch a chill from this brisk ocean air, would you? You'll be dancing yourself warm once we get on the ship, lass. Better slip off that ratty robe before you meet the captain. Of course, of course. Oh. Damn. Be happy to show him the performance that awaits. The bitch admiral's lapdog. Come back for that lesson, have you? It is I who shall be teaching this day. My lecture will focus on the manipulation of reality through applied strategy. Enough of this damn yapping. By the time I'm done with you, you'll remember who your real master is. Alrighty, here we go. Magic vulnerability down. What is that? Oh, I take less damage. Okay. Well, why did you move out of the circle? Why, what benefit?
Yeah, I mean... I don't kill that quickly, and I can't AoE, so... Making it work. Just takes a bit of time. Somebody is healing. The bot. The boat. Boatswain. Botswain. Boatswain. Just gotta kill him. Just gotta kill him. Done. You rabid little cur. Our numbers matter not. It is strategy that will win this battle. Prepare yourself, Desmaga. With your defeat will I cast off the shackles you closed on my soul. You think so, eh? Think your fancy magic's a match for me, Blade? Got another thing coming. Oh, we have a 1% chance of failure. That's good. Yeah, I think we got this one. Oh, I pulled aggro. No. As Maga now faces defeat, he will flee to the starboard rail. Obvious. Next comes his attempt to escape into the sea. Think you're pulling me strings, do you? Think I'll dance to your tune? Well, I ain't falling for your bloody tricks. It is at this moment he notices the yellow jackets I had you summon in my explicit instructions to Rilzern. Damn, dude. She turned into fucking Artemis Fowl real fast. You were a fool to return, Dasmaga. I hear you're fond of shackles. We brought a set especially for you.
Thus concludes today's lecture. Thank you, Mang. The strategy would not have succeeded without your flawless execution, which suggests that my tactics yet require more work. One must allow for some small deviation in performance. I believe, however, that I now understand where my calculations went awry. It is not enough to wish to shape reality. One must also have a complete understanding of the reality one wishes to obtain. It is time I sought out our guildmaster. Okay. She dove face first. She doesn't look wet. So I don't know. Pray convey to Mistress Thurbergy my fondest wishes and my appreciation for all that she has done for me. The true test of my strategies now begins. Welcome back, Mang. There's much I would ask you, but first, may I have the satchel you received during your assignment? Yep. The original owner needs her costume back, you see. I'll make sure everything is returned safe and sound. Now let us speak of Kilia. I'm glad to know that she has finally freed herself to pursue her heart's desire. And you are you are to thank for her awakening the Force here to her self-imposed fetters. The brilliance of Kilia's strategy served to blind her to her own feelings, and it pained me to suffer her, see her suffer so. Your example may even encourage Kilia to improve her combat abilities, although such will surely come in time. After all, she intends to study under the Guildmaster's direct instruction. Imagine those two obsessive arcanists and the complexity of the tactics they will develop. It may very well be that your actions in bringing them together will prove the catalyst that sparks a new era of invention in the art of Arca Arcanima. You too should look to the improvement of your discipline if you are to keep pace with all that is certain to follow. To that end, I offer you a new technique, one that allows you to affect a wide swath of the battlefield and drain the life force of your foes. Bane. Spread a target's bio and miasma effects to nearby enemies. Potency is reduced by 60% for all the other enemies. By 60%. That's not much, then. Uh, it's shorter than the original thing. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good for, like, dungeon AoE stuff. And we get a book that is another improvement. Uh, and we can take this, which is an improvement. So, all well that ends well. Okay. Why don't you... Oh, it requires level 31. Fuck. <sighs> Austerities of Flame. Summon three. Soul of the Summoner. Okay, this is what we want. Greetings, Mang. It is well you have come, for we have an intriguing matter to discuss. A request has come to our guild from the Sons of St. Koinach, an organization of some of the finest minds in Eorzea, and they have asked for you by name. It appears that the research the Sons are currently conducting would benefit from the assistance of Marcanist, specifically one who has had the tempering experience of defeating the primal Ifrit. 
Though I must admit to some curiosity as to how these scholars knew the extent of your heroic exploits, I suppose the source of their knowledge is of little relevance. If you would answer this request, then you will find your contact, a researcher by the name of Yamhitra, at Apkalu Falls on the nation of Gridania. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Black Shroud, Gridania, okay. New Gridania, alright. Teleport. I guess I could have just clicked on that. But. Um, You are Mang Mang, I assume. Well met, and thank you for coming. My name, as you have obviously surmised, is Yamhitra. I am a member of the Sons of St. Quinnach. Ours is a Charli Charlian order that seeks the lost knowledge of the Allegan Empire. And in that regard, we have recently made a singularly important discovery at our dig site in Mordona. We salvaged from the ruins a set of ancient texts describing the existence of a sect of Allegan mages known as Summoners. These were arcane practitioners said to have the ability to siphon the essence of the primals and manifest this stolen energy as a biddable ally known as an eggy. Should we succeed in resurrecting such arts, then we might well hold in our hands the power to bring this age of conflict to an end. There is, however, as there always must be, one monumental obstacle to realize in this reality. In order to manifest these obedient incarnations of the beast men's savage deities, one must first defeat a primal and capture its etheric essence. Thus, only one who can boast such a daunting achievement under his belt may even begin on the path to becoming a summoner. Do you understand now why I called upon you? If you wish to contribute to my research, then come to me in the west of Beer Goat Strike, in southern Thanalan. There shall we conduct a ritual of summoning, the austerities of flame. So now I gotta hoof ass all the way over here. Forgotten Springs. Okay, it's apparently right outside the gold saucer, but I don't think you can leave the gold saucer that way. I wouldn't think so. So fuck me. Little Alamigo. Unless there's a fairy. There doesn't look like there's a fairy. So, oh boy. Okay. All right, I'm going to pause. I'm going to pop over to Black Brush, and then I'll have to hoof it. All right, we are all the way out in the desert. There's some freaky shit here, man. Sandworms. Um... These things are more level appropriate, but I had to pass through a section here in the middle that was filled with, like, level 48 enemies and stuff. And there didn't seem to be any other way to get to this spot, so... I don't know. You just gotta be bold, I suppose. Greetings to you once more, Mang. I had a feeling this unique opportunity would be nigh impossible for you to ignore. Let us proceed directly to the ritual, shall we? According to the records we recovered, the summoners of old would perform these rites in a land in which the naturally dominant element matched the aspect of the avatar they wished to call forth. Only in such a place might one sufficiently shift one's etheric balance in the desired direction. The element of fire is especially strong here in the Sigoli Desert. I can think of no land more fitting in which to summon an incarnation of the Lord of the Inferno, except maybe, like, a volcano. Before we begin, I must insist that you accept this gem. It may appear of little worth, but within its faceted depths dwell the memories of long-deceased summoners. Now you must focus. 
Visualize the ether flowing through you, a vibrant current of energy transforming into living fire. Hold this image in your mind, and the raging heat of your life force shall spawn an eggy, wreathed in flames. That can't be how that's pronounced. Be aware, however, that this nascent entity will appear before you unbound and hostile. It is your charge to overpower the Avatar and establish yourself as its master. The path of the summoner is not if not fraught with peril. Well, if I can't do it, then who the hell can? Damn. The Freed Ifrit Eggy. Summon sprites to do its bidding. I don't care about that. A crimson nail. It's just like a mini, you know, Ifrit boss fight. Except even slower. We're doing it. We're doing it. Ooh, a 257 faster. Ugh, ugh, ugh. And he is done. Most impressive, Mang. The fireborn Eggy has submitted to your will. You have mastered the austerities of flame, and that is no small feat. Pray let us return to Apkalu Falls that we might further discuss your achievement. What, back at fucking Gridania? Fuck. You're really eating up my tickets here, lady. Eating up my time, too. But we gotta get the summoner. It's gotta be done. It's essential. This is truly a momentous occasion. You have rescued the lost art of summoning from the grasping mire of forgotten history. But you must know more of the avatar you have bound. In the ancient tongue of the Allegan Empire, it would be known as Ifrit Eggy, where Eggy translates approximately to pure, or the essence of. In short, you have tamed a willful manifestation of Ifrit's raging fires. As you might expect from an entity born of the Lord of the Inferno, this avatar and its capacity for destruction should serve you well in your battles to come. With such an ally at your command, it is not too soon to take upon yourself the title of Summoner. 
You have proven yourself more than worthy of the soul crystal you now possess. Yet be that as it may, the road before you is long and arduous. If you would triumph in this age of conflict, you must needs master more than just the Aggie of Fire. I suggest you next fix your gaze upon claiming a servant of unyielding stone. This will, of course, necessitate you joining an expedition to defeat the primal known as Titan. This beloved divinity of the kobolds poses the greatest threat to Limsa Lominsa, and it is there that you shall find allies in your cause. The risks are great, but so too are the rewards. Topple the Lord of Crags, and we may progress the next stage of our historic research. Fair fortune to you, May. Give me that shit! Summoner unlocked. That feels good. Ifrit Eggy. Jobs. You have obtained a soul crystal. Soul crystals are required to change from your current class to a more specialized job. Mm-hmm. Okay. New job actions. Yep. Right. When a job level rises, so too does the level of the base class and vice versa. Yes. So Arcanist levels are summoner levels. But they are are also scholar levels. Ergo, summoner levels are scholar levels. So, if you're a level 50 summoner, you're also a level 50 scholar. And that's why we went with this. So that I can do the DPS thing on my own, and then in dungeons I can be the healer. And still, you know, it's it's the same level. So that's all good. Um, soul Crystal. Summoner. Boom. We are now a level 30 summoner. Yeah, obviously. Okay, we can summon I Ifrit Eggy. There it is. What else did we get? Not much. Uh, but he knows Burning Strike, okay, and Crimson Cyclone, which just, yeah, it's just a bunch of damage. It's all, it's all just damage. All right, well, that makes sense. Um, so we don't really get any cool stuff for Summoner for a while. Oh, there's an AoE. So it's an AoE version of Energy Drain. 40, you get Outburst. Which is also an AoE. A spammable AoE. Oh, god damn. We gotta get to 40. Stat! Mm-hmm. Signature attack. That's cool. Oh, that's an AoE that uses Ether Flow. Yeah, we're gonna be AoEing everything! I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, but for now, it's mostly just the same stuff. So nothing, nothing too exciting. Uh, all right. They like fuck up all my bars and shit. Why would they? Why would they fuck up my bars? They definitely just fucked up all my bars. Uh. Let's see, but that should be there. Yeah, okay. Swift there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh... There we go. That's fine. Okay, cool. Now we have a cooler looking pet. Although I did like the carbuncle. It was it was cute. Uh, next time. We're going to get the scholar now. We're going to we'll do the scholar job quest so we can have both because uh, I'm sure more dungeons and stuff are going to be popping up and uh, then we'll bounce back to the main story. Although I'm looking forward to fighting Titan. I maybe I remember fighting that long ago, but mm, not re not really. No, no. So that'll be cool. All righty. Things are looking up.
My name is Mang. Game watching has been Final Fantasy 14. See you fine folks in the next part.